This Excel spreadsheet will allow you to stay motivated and on track to make significant changes in your life. Tackle each goal as a four-week challenge. You will see the results day by day and that will help you stay on track. Let's start with a start date. I suggest you have the first day of the month. This way there is a build-up. You anticipate the date and it makes it more committal. Then we create a table. It has to be of 28 rows and 9 columns, one for each day of the challenge. Once done, we just add some columns. First, the date. We just refer to the date we have input above in the first cell. Then we add one day to every other row. That will cover the full four weeks. Second column. This is where we will put the outcome of our habit. For this column, we will validate our input against a validation table. Let's create this validation table below. Now on the outcome field, we just go to data, data validation, allow, and we select list. And we select the three fields we have just created. Next, label tick. At this stage, we just input A. For X axis, we manually input the numbers 1 to 7, and we do this four times. For Y axis, we input seven times the number 4, then 3, then 2, and then 1. For the column pass, we have an easy check to do. Let's input the formula. If the outcome field is pass, which is our first validation field. Then we have one. If not, we have zero. We need to lock the validation field by pressing F4, but we need to make sure we only lock the column in the field that we check. That will allow us to just drag that field down. For the next column, we do the same but we check against the fail field in our validation table. For the outstanding field, we just have it at one if the two other fields are zero. Now to calculate the streak which is how many pass we had in a row. For the first row, we just put the pass field. For all the other fields, we check if the outcome is pass. And if it is, we add one to the field above. And if not, we reset it to zero. Now we calculate the totals for the last four columns. Simple. We just do a sum of all those rows. But for the streak column, we use max instead of calculating the sum. And when done, we calculate the percentage of pass versus fails by dividing the number of passes total by the total of passes and fails altogether. Looks like it all works so far. Now we are ready to get the chart started. Let's select three columns at the same time, the x-axis, y-axis, and pass. Do not take the heading, just the 28 rows. Now insert a chart bubble. It should give you this. Next, we right-click on the chart. Select data and add data. For x values, we select x-axis. For Y values, the Y axis. For data, we select the fail column without the header, and we do the same for the outstanding column.
We right click on a series and we select Format Data Series. We then change the bubble size so it fits our chart. OK, let's select a nice green for pass and add a white border and some gradient. For this series, we add data labels. And we select the column of A that we have created as data label. And we change the font to Webdings. That will give us ticks. Let's do the same for the fail series. We select a subtle red and a gradient and a nice thick white border. And a blue for outstanding. For outstanding, we select the date as label. Now I will use a completely black background to let the charts and text really pop out. I also remove the background for the chart. I also remove the grids and both axes. I then insert a rounded rectangle shape. I duplicate it twice. I click on the border of the first box and refer to the pass totals. For the second box I refer to the streak total. And for the third one, the total for fails. I format the first box with a strong green. I add gradient to it. I set the font to white and I do some additional formatting. Using the Format Painter, I paint the format of the first box onto the second and third box. But for the Fail box, I use a strong red instead of green. Now I make some room. That's better. I now insert three boxes where I will input the description for the other boxes. I remove the background for those boxes and I set the font to white. Then I position those boxes on top of the other boxes. Then I create two more boxes, one for the description at the top. And one at the bottom where I will show the percentage of success and I will add some text using the same technique as we have seen before. In this second box, you can input your challenge for the month. This is it for me. Let me know how you liked or didn't like that voice.
it is just an experiment. Ben is usually doing those, but he wanted to try this instead. In another video, we will use this spreadsheet as a starting point to track our New Year resolution challenge. I hope you can join us for that one too.